everyone! My name is Multi! Welcome to class today at the Chernan Nature Center! Let's all get ready to be eco-heroes! There is a Moltrex tree frog here at the Chernan Nature Center on the banks of Liu Lake that just loves to learn. His name is Multi. Hi. Although barely five centimeters long, Multi knows he's an eco hero. He listens carefully to his environment and ecology teachers and takes a lot of courses before launching his own conservation campaign. Time for class. Let me share with you why I chose to be an eco-hero. Nature's in serious danger from all kinds of pollution. Both plants and animals are in a fight for their lives. As part of nature, each of us has a responsibility to protect and cherish our natural heritage. Chernan Nature Center is a great place to learn how and then to get started on your own. Chernan is a multifunctional classroom. It has an indoor forestry exhibit, classrooms, logging equipment exhibit, nature classroom, outdoor nature experience area, and footpaths. The Nature Center also has an expert, friendly team of environmental educators and national forest volunteers. At the Chernan Nature Center, they guide students of all ages through an interactive curriculum that covers outdoor classroom, special projects, specialist study, introduction to the nature center, and theme activity. Mama, I love you. <laughs> Let's go over some safety rules first before starting class. Wow! Gorgeous weather! Perfect for today's class! Let's get going then! Let's learn more about our nature center! For first-time visitors, I recommend signing up for our Introduction to the Nature Center class. Our teachers and volunteers will lead you through our trails and forests, teaching you about Chernan and the wonders of nature. Amidst abandoned logging equipment, you'll also learn about Chernan's history as a center of the East Coast timber industry. Can anyone tell me what all this forestry equipment is doing here? This used to be the Hualien Forest District Office's Chernan Timber Dispatch Center. Forestry was once one of the biggest contributors to the Taiwan economy. Forest depletion and rising conservation awareness eventually ended all commercial logging. Equipment like this now serves as tools to help interpret Taiwan's forestry industry and explain the value and function of forests to younger generations. Let's join an outdoor classroom class now. It's all about training your observation skills. Let's see what the insects are up to. Master of Disguise? Where is it? Hey guys, do you see anything? Wow, a butterfly caterpillar! You guys are good! Its masterful disguise wasn't enough to fool you! The teacher said we could touch it, but very gently. 
butterfly caterpillars are so cute! Look closely and carefully. The insect world is filled with incredibly amazing variety. In nature, every living thing has a role to play in maintaining ecological equilibrium. Each new birth is a difficult, magical event. Butterflies, for example, have to be eggs, caterpillars, and chrysalis before emerging as butterflies. We frogs, too, start out first as eggs, then tadpoles, before becoming full-fledged frogs. It may look easy, but growing up is a really complex and difficult process. In addition to worrying about natural predators, we face the increasing destruction and pollution of our habitat. It's a threat to our very existence. Students will have a much better grasp of today's ecological problems after a few animal-themed outdoor classroom sessions. Let's go! Follow the teacher into the field to play raptor! The teacher says that paper airplanes represent raptors. The students out in front trying to stop raptors from flying are the regular threats they face, such as land overdevelopment and habitat destruction. Raptors have to work hard to get past the dangers to safety and a chance to have offspring. But it's really tough. So many threats. I'm rooting for you, Raptor. High-flying raptors are unable to find a safe refuge. Mammals on the ground are also vexed by challenges. Okay, everyone play your parts. We're now all small animals of the forest, and these circles represent our habitat. But one day, a storm barrels through and uproots trees. Later on, developers come and bulldoze the land flat. The animals are terrified and flee for their lives. But where can they go? This is all real. It's happening even today. I faced many threats as a tadpole, like when the sun evaporated our pond, when someone buried our home in trash, when a factory's wastewater poisoned our habitat. Looking back, it's amazing that I survived it all. Students who take the frog class and play the frog games here at Chernan all appreciate how hard it is for a tadpole to become a frog. That's why I must learn more about the environment and conservation to become an effective forest eco-hero. Multi. Yes, teacher? Of course we can teach you more about the environment and conservation. But nature doesn't need heroes. But I don't understand. Everyone is responsible for taking care of the natural environment. Come tomorrow for our summer camp theme activity. We'll hike to Liu Mountain to see the wondrous power of the forest for ourselves. Then you'll understand. Right, absolutely right. And join us tonight to explore Chernan's nighttime environment. It's a rare opportunity to have class after dark. <笑>看到這隻有被中線的中間還有一條線的好好像那個裂開的走了小心喔請你不要一步就跨進水裡喔這個很多比較像這種也是這個倒三角有沒有這個大部分是葉我們螢火蟲平常可以抓它回去養
last sunrise, the start of a new day. Hurry up, teacher. Hurry, we're anxious to get to Liu Mountain. See the power of the forest. Patience, Multi. We've only just left the nature center. As we walk, try and feel how environmental changes affect people. It's another thing you can think about. Whew, it's a lot hotter here than in the shade. Yeah, we've made it to the trail entrance. Let's go. Watch your step, everyone. Haha, <laughs> it's much cooler on the trail. These trees give shade. So much greenery. Lots to see, too. Hey guys, what are you looking at? Wow, a Formosan macaque! We're so close! Do you think it knows we're here? Okay, let's draw the plants and animals we just saw on the tree. Everyone is really into it. If you look closely, you can discover a whole living world there. After walking for a while, teacher wants us to close our eyes and use our ears to hear the forest sounds. What are you guys hearing? Next, we draw how we feel about the forest now. Wait a minute! Everyone's drawing smiles! What's up? Multi, that's your answer. This is the power of the forest to touch and inspire. The power to touch and inspire? Multi, think about the expressions on everyone's faces when we were in the classroom yesterday. Smiling, happy. Why were they smiling? Because it was fun. We got to explore the forest, experience forest plants and animals. It was cool. Right, that's the power of the forest. Forests aren't just a home for flora and fauna. They're so important to people as well. It's just that land development and modern society have separated us from our forests. Poor conservation awareness results in even more damage to the environment. Oh, that's why. So Multi, nature needs everyone's help. She needs our understanding, appreciation and protection. That's the key to sustaining our environment. Working together is very important. This is why the Forestry Bureau opened Chernan Nature Center. To have a natural setting people could go to and take classes to learn to appreciate and live in harmony with nature. And then help protect and cherish all life. Are you ready to work with us and share what you've learned about the environment with others? Me? I can help too? Of course you can, Moldy. Thank you all. I'll definitely do my best. Okay then, Teacher Multi is ready. Let's go, everyone. Time yeah! to